Hello everybody and welcome to my 10th Visual Basic in Excel tutorial. This uh, tutorial is continuing on from if statements again and we'll be introducing the OR operator. I introduced it in the last tutorial but then changed to AND and the reason being that I had an OR statement that would always be true because you would either be less than 18 in which case the less than 65 uh, statement would be true or you'd be older than 65 and the uh, older than 18 statement would be true so it always come out as true so there wouldn't be any point in having it so now I'm going to go into a, a better example for the use of a OR operator and that's uh, getting a price for insurance so this price is going to be worked out on it's going to be £800 standard price or you can get a £400 discount if you've had five years or more no claims or you're the age of 50 plus say so, alt f11 let's start writing our um, our sub say so, sub say insurance price right. and then we want two in uh, two variables to take the values that are put in these boxes so we want dim age and no claims as integer and then we want to put age equals this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells and we want cell four comma three dot value and we want no claims equals this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells and that's the one next to it, so we want four comma two dot value. Okay, and then we want to do our if statement. So we have if and then we want say that older than fifty, so age greater than or equal to fifty. So let's all check if they're well greater than or equal to fifty. And then we put or no claims. is greater than or equal to 5 then. Okay, so what do we want it to do if age is higher than 50 or no claims is higher than 5? We want it to give them the discounted price of £400. So we want this cell here, so this workbook dot sheets sheets 1 dot cells and then this cell is seven and three so seven comma three dot value and we want to make that equal to four hundred and then if none of them are true we have else so if that or that is true then do this at else do this and so we want it to be this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells and it's the same one so seven comma three dot value equals eight hundred and then end if always needs the end if at the end and so let's run this let's try putting in uh, I'll put in my age, uh, so I've had one year's no claims and I'm 22 and submit that and I've got a error coming up, so book one submit age can't be fine. Ah, okay, so because I've changed the name of the macro from my previous one I need to assign the macro again say so insurance price 
So submit that. 800 pounds. Ouch. That's a lot. But let's say I've been driving for five years. So I've been driving since I was I could start driving at 17. I click submit now. Then 400 pounds, half the price. And that seems to be generally the way insurance goes. And say say I only I was a pensioner and I only just started driving. And I've had one year's no claims. Then that would be 400 as well. Um, or if I change it back to say 40, then that goes back to 800 pounds again. Well, what if I put in say 10 years and 70? Say, really they're qualifying twice, so they should get a double discount. So how can we do this? Well, what we're going to want to do is do a nested if statement and we're going to ha want to have if that and that are true so if we copy this put it here so if their age is older than 50 and no claims is greater than 5 then we want this workbook dot sheets and sheet 1 dot cells 7 3 dot value equals 200 and then this we need to change to an else if so this will only evaluate if this isn't true and then this will only evaluate if this and this aren't true so I've added in that from there when it should be there. Right, so let's run this. Submit £200. So they get a double discount. If we put it back to one, they get just the £400. And if we put it back to 22, then £800 again. So this is how you can use nested if statements. And this is probably pretty similar to how insurance companies do calculate their premiums uh, obviously it'll be a lot more complicated and uh, probably involve more kind of uh, sliding scale rather than just less or more than five but you get the general gist of things so uh, the next tutorial should be the final visual basic tutorial on if statements uh, and it's going to show you a neat little trick uh, with hiding cells. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.